So I just ordered this salad from Chick-fil-A. And yeah, it's a chicken salad. I got light. I got this dressing. And then I got, it came with some tomato crispy bell peppers. But like, I tried this, I don't know why. I picked this one, I thought I would like it, but I'm not liking it. So, I'm gonna put some Olive Garden dressing on it cause that's where it's at right now. But, yeah, I'm gonna eat this. It's currently 6.03. So I'm gonna eat, this is my, my dinner cause I'm starving. All right, all right. Okay, so I got this um, strawberry growing kit. And I'm going to see if it works. So, I'm going to show you guys the progress and everything. So, it says, um, dissolve growing medium pallets in three-fourths cup of water. Fluff with fork and place into pot. So, I'm going to open this up. Okay, so some of the soil fell on the table. But, that's alright. I'm going to try not to. This is the... But yeah, like I was saying, um, I had to find, I had to get my tripod because it was not working out. Alright, so this is how it looks. I want to put this soil back in here. Hold on. Okay, so I tried to get the soil in there. These are the seeds. So the direction says to um, dissolve growing medium pallets. In three fourths cups of water. So let me get some cup. Let me get some water. Okay, so I got some water. Three fourths cups of water. So I'm going to pour it into. This is what they call paddlets. So I'm going to pour it. And then I have to fluff it out with a fork. Oh, it's hard to see. So I'm going to start. Let me zoom in. Okay, that should be a little bit better. I'm going to start breaking it with the fork into smaller pieces. I really hope this actually works. Because I actually had one a long time ago. It was the day, it had the little, little one though, like the mini ones. It was a, um, a daisy flower um and something else i think like a sunflower or something and i failed like it was just rotten after a week or two so not rotten but it was dead so yeah I'm gonna have to get a metal spoon. I will not use this fork, it's going in the garbage after. Want to add my seeds, so let me open it up. Okay, I'm gonna try to focus this. The seeds are very small, you can see them. So I'm not sure if I just add them all in one spot or do I like split it up. Um, let me read this real fast. 
put them okay so now that I water it says cover it with plastic wrap okay so I ran out of plastic wrap so I'm just gonna leave it like this for today and I'll probably get some later on or whenever and I'm gonna keep this it says to keep it in um a spot that has a lot of sunlight and yeah so I'll keep you guys posted okay on to the next thing so I feel like making a um chocolate breakable heart so I have some chocolate right here. I'm at a chocolate breakable heart, but like I didn't put enough um chocolate, so I'm going to make this all over. So I'm gonna put the chocolate in here. Okay, so I found the um, red chocolate melts I had. So let's open this up. I'm gonna put like that much. I really hope this is enough. Let me just put a few more. Okay, that, that should be enough. Okay, as you can see, the water is boiling. So now I'm gonna add my um, melting pot right on top. And I'm gonna make the chocolate melt. If my camera would focus, that would be great. Let's see, focus. There we go. I'll see you guys when it's melted. So you guys can see it's melting a little bit at the edge. Okay, so this is what you guys didn't see in the video. So like, this is how the chocolate always is. Like this texture. I don't know why, but it just never wants to melt. So I always add a little bit of vegetable oil just to get it melted. Just a little bit. Like that much and I mix it up. To make the chocolate melt a little. Because it was not working out for me. So. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. And it helps smooth out the chocolate better. Because you can see this is all chunky. So. The oil helps loosen the chocolate up. And yeah. Don't add too much though because it could mess up your chocolate. So in case you guys are planning on doing this. Okay, so I just took um, the chocolate off the stove. And I want to do this very fast before it, the chocolate gets too hard. So... I'm going to pour this out into the mold. Alright, I'm just going to mix this around very fast. Because I'm not trying to mess this up.
All right, go in the fridge. All right, guys, so it's currently the next day. I did want to try these blue Takis. I've seen them everywhere. They just didn't have them at the store I went to when I tried to look for them. So I know I'm a little bit late to the trend, but I couldn't find them. So I finally found them. I actually got these from Walmart. They're Takis Blue Heat. Hot chili pepper tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Um. So yeah, let's just try them. You guys already saw me eat those ones. Well, you guys didn't see, but like I know the purple ones taste good, and I like them. So. It says the same thing that it says right here. It says the same thing where it says on the purple chips. So I'm not sure like if it's just blue instead of red. Like I wonder if it has a different taste. Anyways. Ooh, they smell the same though. But that spice just. Woo. You guys can see. It doesn't want to focus. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's try them. The camera's not going to focus. Okay, we're back in action. All right. Moment of truth. You know what they say, when you scratch your ears, that means the food tastes good. <laughs> I'm gonna get my other bag of Takis real fast. These are the two bags, so you see what it says right there? Oh, I actually lied. They don't say the same thing. I thought they did, but they didn't. This one says, Hot chili pepper tortilla chips. Tortilla. I keep saying tortilla. It's tortilla. Anyway. And then this one is hot chili pepper and lime tortilla chips. So basically the same thing to me. So I'm let me tell you guys my opinion. So these blue chips. It tastes just like the um purple bag. But instead... There's a little bit more lime. Like, this just tastes like a straight up lime. This one, you taste the spice more than the lime. That's my opinion, though. This one's not spicy to me. This tastes like lime. I don't know. We're going to try to make a thumbnail. Okay, ready? Hopefully, that was good. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Tatnik. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you watch every single video throughout the end, okay? Okay. And comment on below what other videos you want to see. And like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!